when the Buddha talks about staying in the present moment, it's never just because it's a nice place to stay or a good place to stay or the only place to stay. The mind can stay in all kinds of places. It's because there's work that needs to be done. And when he talks about staying in the present moment, it's always in the context of thinking that you know, death could happen at any time. It could happen tomorrow, it could happen today. There was one time when he was asking the monks if they thought about death often, and someone said, well, I think about it once a day, and others say, I think about it twice a day, and got down to one monk saying that I think about it while I'm chewing my food, may I live in, to the point where I can swallow this food, and in the meantime, while I have that much time, I'll practice. And that was saying, when I breathe in, I tell myself, may I live throughout this breath so I can practice for the sake of this breath. And the Buddha said the last two are the only ones that really count as heedful. Because you realize, okay, you don't know how much time you have, but you do have this little span of time right here, so make the most of it while you can, because it's not going to be here all the time. Death could come at any moment, and you don't want to be caught unprepared, and you don't want to be caught thinking about all the time you wasted in the past. So death lies behind all the teachings, particularly the teachings of why you want to stay here in the present moment, because there's work that needs to be done. The mind has these potentials of greed, aversion, and delusion, all kinds of unskillful ways of feeding on this and feeding on that. And if we don't take care of that now while we have the opportunity to practice, when will we take care of it? And if we die with those habits still ingrained in the mind, we're just going to go feeding wherever we can, which is why the Buddha's image of a life and death, death and rebirth. He says it's like throwing a stick up in the air. Sometimes it comes on this end, sometimes it falls on that end, sometimes it falls splat in the middle. It's all pretty random. In other words, even though you may have some good karma, you also got some bad karma. You never know what's going to come up and be really strong right there at the, at the moment of trying to find a new place to take birth. Your only security is if you've found something deathless inside. Okay, That gives you some something to hold on to even as the body is wasting away, as your mind is beginning to get less and less clear. So try to practice for the sake of that. Because birth is all around us, which means death is all around us, and then rebirth is all around us again. So you want to make sure that you do it well. So that if you, if you still have to take rebirth, okay, take rebirth in a good place so you can, can, can continue practicing. It all starts right here.